i po prostu jak najlepsza tabletka to działa. A jak twój kubek się nazywa? What's the doggy's name? Pussy. Is the kot? Is the doggy a pussy? What are you saying? I'm a pediatrician. I've been dealing with magnetic stimulation for more than three years now. I have a 15-year-old daughter with a severe case of cerebral palsy. After three, four months of magnetostimulation, I started noticing positive results. Her muscles relaxed. She no longer has those cramps. Her sight has improved, even though she suffers from the atrophy of both her optic nerves. She started talking. She can understand more. She no longer suffers from constant infections. I started recommending this method of assisting rehabilitation to parents of other children with disorders of the central nervous system. The conclusions from my practice are the following. You must sometimes wait a bit for the positive effects of the therapy to show. Sometimes it even takes several months, but they are clearly visible, both in terms of the child's mental development and in the sense of motor activities. They depend on the child's age and on the degree of damage to its central nervous system. In a number of cases, I have observed very positive results, a marked progress in the development of the motor system and in the child's mental powers. There were some cases, however, when the change was limited to, say, better evacuation of stores, calming down the child, lowering the number of infections. This may not sound like much, but it means a lot to parents, for whom any progress is very significant. Importantly, in no case did I ever observe a worsening of the child's health. If the child is on specialist medication or is sick, the magnetic field therapy should be conducted under a doctor's supervision. Take deep breaths, now take in less air, deeper, fine, again. We're in the psychophysiology laboratory of the higher school of special education. A biofeedback system is installed here. It's a modern method, which allows us to check how the patient's heart, respiratory and circulatory system and brain work, once the patient is connected to diagnostic devices through electrodes. A także jak pracuje jego mózg. Ogromno to przydatne. It's very useful to be able to test the work of the new Viafor GPS magnetic stimulation apparatus. Magneto stymulacyjne Viafor IPS MRS 2000. We examine alpha, beta, theta, and SMR waves. Alpha, beta, and theta waves are known in medicine, while SMR are what are known as sensomotive waves, which are very important for psychologists and psychiatrists. Medicine is now studying them closely. They are regarded as important because thanks to them, learning and concentration are possible. 
mówić o tak zwanym uczeniu się, a także o koncentracji uwagi. A więc All cognitive and intellectual functions are related to these ways. At once we can notice the effect of various stimuli, in this case of the magnetic field. In healthy patients, this effect is not just as noticeable as in patients with, say, cerebral palsy or other disturbances. Patients clearly react positively by improving psychomotive balance and concentration. Koncentracji uwagi. Under the influence of these fields, the synthesis of nitrogen monoxide is stimulated. It is a form of an endogenous body which dilates vessels. It lasts a very short while, the fraction of a second, but it does dilate tissues which leads to better blood supply to organs through given arteries. Another area is the influence on the immune system. The system is boosted. The body's resistance to infection is increased. Yet another area is anti-stress action, the body's ability to relax. It's very important for people who face problems at work and at home. Osoby, które powiedzmy sobie znajdują, jakieś, znajdują się w trudnych warunkach pracy prawda, i, i bytowania codziennego. Metodą, którą od ponad dwóch lat wysoko sobie ceni, jest magnetostymulacja robiona początkowo... A method I've held in high esteem for more than two years is magnetostimulation. We apply this method very broadly, but in conjunction with other methods. In fact, we are known as an integrated medicine center, perhaps the only such center in this country. This stems from my approach to treatment. I'm all for integration, the combining of what's effective and safe in conventional and alternative medicine. The best proof is the fact that both lasers and magnetic stimulation have permanently entered contemporary conventional medicine. At the same time, they are welcome in alternative medicine, I'm very happy to be able to integrate these two. Ja się cieszę bardzo, że mogę to zintegrować. Panie, które do nas Women come here with various diseases. Among them are patients with hypertension. We treat them for it. We manage to bring down blood pressure levels considerably. We carry up this therapy on a daily basis. Some of the women come back for more rounds of treatment. There are 10 to 15 sessions in a series, then we repeat them after a break. Some patients have already gone through six series. It's worth mentioning that we have several patients with Alzheimer's. We have tried out the therapy on them. They have calmed down significantly, even if they were very excitable before. It even happened that a particularly jumpy patient, who wouldn't lie down on the mat, actually fell asleep on it. I feel better. I have fibrillation, and this method helps me a great deal. I feel lighter once I get up. I'm very happy I can come here. I've been here a year now. It does help me a lot.
we are attacked by technological progress. New developments may be convenient, but they are accompanied by omnipresent stress and the rat race, the degradation of the natural environment and new unknown diseases. Have you ever wondered why we fall ill? Why we suffer from insomnia? Why we have metabolism problems, splitting headaches? And why back pain makes even the simplest of motions an ordeal? Why, when we wake up, we feel like we haven't slept at all? We live in a world permeated by harmful electromagnetic fields, generated by hundreds of innocently looking electrical and electronic appliances that surround us, bringing chaos into our bodies. They lie at the root of many of our ailments. We live in a constant electromagnetic smog from which there is no escape. All around us are plenty of radio, TV, mobile phone transmitters, high voltage electricity lines. Electromagnetic smog attacks us everywhere. It has no smell, you can't see or touch it. And yet it slowly but surely destroys the functioning of 70 trillion cells in our body. It strikes them out of balance, damages their homeostasis, weakens their immunity and brings about countless diseases. It makes us feel bad. Self-help groups are emerging for people sensitive to electromagnetic phenomena. Their members have pinpointed more than 120 symptoms which they put down to diseases caused by the harmful impact of electromagnetic fields. Scientists the world over are raising the alarm. Electromagnetic smog is one of the most serious threats to man's health. The therapeutic use of magnetic fields has been known since ancient times. In the past few years, we've observed a considerable upsurge of interest in this form of therapy. The number of relevant publications is estimated at around 10,000. How do magnetic fields work, especially the so-called slow-changing magnetic field with a frequency up to around 50 to 60 hertz and magnetic induction between 10 and 15 millitesla? They work in line with Maxwell's law. They result in what are known as magnetodynamic phenomena. What do they involve? They consist in the induction of potentials and electric currents in tissues by the magnetic field. The presence of these potentials and currents is not indifferent for the functioning of the body. If such changes occur on a connecting surface, for example on the cell membrane or along a border, this polarization triggers a response in a cell. Then there are magnetomechanical phenomena. They involve the transfer of particles with diamagnetic properties, paramagnetic properties, and of molecules with a magnetic moment into the electric field. It is not unimportant, because if we realize that such a field affects a paramagnetic particle by working on the uncompensated spins of the atom, the magnetic moment increases. If it's an element that occurs in coenzymes or in prosthetic enzyme groups, it's not without effect, because it speeds up or slows down the enzymatic process. Another area is its influence on water, in fact the most widespread such phenomenon in the human organism. Under the influence of the magnetic field, water undergoes a series of changes. Its pH is altered, as is its viscosity, sedimentation rate, and most importantly the amount of gases, mainly oxygen, dissolved in it. Some authors suspect that the amount of oxygen in water subjected to the influence of the magnetic field increases even by 100.